Welcome to the Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 which is build 16.232 and it was released yesterday June 28th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. It is the latest in the Fall Creators Update Redstone 3 build and it is uh, it has a few new features that we'll talk about. Um, mostly focusing on security by the way if you are wondering for the install itself i have a video talking about the problems that i had and also the very long install time very very complex upgrade yesterday for this belt for me uh, on the home version on the home version but on the pro version this machine went pretty much flawlessly but boy was it long now <clears throat> this new build i've been testing all day today both the home and the pro version. So it's been kind of my main computers um, in the past hours. No crashes, no, no green screen or blue screen of that. Nothing bad, no errors. It seems to work well. What are the new features in here? Well, first of all, if you have the pro uh, version um, and the enterprise version of this belt, uh, there's something that you can turn on and uh, in, in the Windows uh, components in the group policy editor. And it's something called the uh, Windows Application Guard. Now, it's on for me, but for some reason, even though I've applied it everywhere, uh, it's supposed to add a feature where you can, in this build, actually, um, in here, if you go to the upper right in the options, you have new window, new in private window. In between that, I should have an option that says new application guard window, which is kind of a sandbox mode where uh, everything is really, really more secure. You could actually apply some of these favorites. And then um, if you turn it off, what happens is that you can actually uh, go back to them when application guard is enabled. So these are enterprise features. They're, they're meant to have much more security in the uh, enterprise versions and um, of course try to make things a little better. Now one of the things that happened when Windows 10 was released in 2015 that a lot of people were not sure was a good idea was that the um, there was something called the um, Windows System Application Exploit Mitigation Settings and what happened is that was part of Windows until Windows 8. Windows 10 arrived, Microsoft said, hey, we don't need that tool anymore. We don't need these things. Windows 10 is so secure, we believe we'll not need that. Well, behold, they are back. Um, why? Of course, a lot of IT guys were kind of surprised and not that happy at the fact that they would remove this, first of all. The other thing is, you know, Windows 10 is yes probably more secure than every other operating system of windows but the thing is it is still a, a very open system where you can do pretty much what you want which you know of course always makes this makes it a little more risky than a lot of operating systems so they've introduced and brought back that in for all of that in here uh, so basically uh, they built it within the windows defender security center so after you upgraded to this build you will have a new a few new features so if you double click the windows defender um, icon to get the security center one of the first things that you can check out is app and browser control and if you go down you'll see something called exploit protection this is uh, an improvement over what happened the more detailed information and you can have more details on what all of these things do but now you've got these switches, the on-off switches for all sorts of things like uh, control flow guard, data protection, prevention. Um, they have what force randomized for images. Uh, they have randomized memory allocation. They have validate exception chains, validate heap integrity, and so on. You can export these settings, of course, and you can have more information. All of that is on by default now. But these are some of the settings that they've kind of tweaked in here. Also, in the Windows Defender app, they've added something that I think is cool. 
your computer, you know, can be accessed by different people. And sometimes you want to know or you want to make sure that certain folders are not messed up or accessed necessarily by certain people. If you go into the virus and threat protection and go into the virus and threat protection settings, look at this down here, you've got something that's called controlled folder access. And you see it at the top here, right, right here where my mouse is. If you turn this on, you can click protected folders. Now by default, your protected folders are documents, images, um, video, and you know, the basic folders that come with your Windows operating system. So documents, pictures, movies, um, or videos, and uh, the desktop also is protected. But you can go here and add a protected folder, which you can choose and say, okay, I want this folder to have added protection. And of course, for more details, I'll be in the Insider channel talking about protected folders more. So now you can control the access of these folders. You can check out or prevent people from using it. You can prevent anybody else than you from actually modification of anything in there so that you can actually make sure that all uh, is secure if you want. So these are some of the new stuff that is, uh, is a, you know, really a lot of improvements on security, by the way, in this uh, version of uh, the build. Now, what are changes, improvements, and fixes? Well, basically, um, they have fixed the .NET 3.5 issue. So if you had that and you couldn't upgrade because you had to remove .NET 3.5, well, that's fixed. It shouldn't be a problem anymore. Uh, they fixed an issue where certain languages installed in the last flight uh, were doing a crash loop on the ctfmonitor.exe file. Also, um, there's an issue where some game like Mass Effect 3 would crash. They fixed it. Uh, fix an issue resulting in Word 2016 crashing if you attempt to ink. Um, also, they were um, fixed an issue in the File Explorer ribbon assets where blurry if the DPI was not equal to the system DPI. It was very, very weird. Uh, some acrylic stuff fixes also. And um, there's the fixed a, a, a rare condition that it could result in the start menu appearing to flash or flicker continuously. I haven't had that, but apparently some people are complaining of that. Known issues in this build, if you can't upgrade and you get an error that is 0x870643, that's a known issue. It's going to roll back and they don't know. So they're investigating. That means if you try it a few times and it does the same thing all the time, that means you can't upgrade and they know about this. Uh, if you have battery status that is wrong, known issue once again. I know some of you have told me, hey, my battery, um, my, when I look at my battery status, it's, it's totally wrong. And so they know that there's a problem there. Um, in the start menu, uh, some apps might show up and I'm going to show you guys here. Look at the bottom. MS, MS resource, MS resource, MS resource, weird names like this uh, for certain apps. Well, in the inbox or the, the apps that are included in Windows 10, uh, you could see something like that appear instead of the real name that it should have. Some universal Windows platform apps, such as Twitter, will crash on launch. The Xbox Live in-game experience may fail to load, uh, including your, your gamer profile achievements and so on. So um, please avoid doing a PC reset. Very important. They say that it's not going to work, but your device will be in a reboot loop. And finally, the task manager may hang in this belt. So if it does, you are part of the people that it does so. And um, basically, from what I see here, it seems oh, it's, it's there. Okay. So, but if it does hang, it's part of the known issues basically in here. So apart from that, you know, I haven't had any problems. Everything seems to be working okay. Of course, I'll be testing more. And if you want to know more on the different new features and also more on the Insider builds and, um, you know, all sorts of little personal observations in here, check on my Windows Insider channel. That's where all the Insider stuff is happening. If you have installed this build, let me know what you think. How does it work for you? Did you upgrade well? Was it very long? Give me your feedback. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.